Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's session. Today, we will go for cubic graph for AdMax. We just need to know how to sketch the cubic graph and form cubic equation. Of course, we also need to know how to solve for inequality based on the graph. Let's go. First part, you need to sketch the cubic graph. So every time if they give you the equation, these three, they are telling you where is the x intersection. So the first x intersection is minus 2. Here is half here is minus five so after we know this three this minus one over five is for you to know where is the y intersection y intersection means x equals to zero so y is two then we know the graph is actually going down going up then come back down usually this kind of question they will continue with as you solve the inequality based on the graph. They say this whole thing is more than or equal to zero. So we know this whole thing is actually y, it means that the y is more than zero. So y is more than zero, we need to draw a horizontal line. y equals zero is here. More than this means this region and this region. So we can confirm x is going to the left. So it's x lesser or equals to minus five, or x is in between this two value, minus two and one over two. Done, done. Why both of them also have the equal sign is because we follow back the question, the question have equal sign, so our final answer must have equal sign also. Question two also, they give you these three information. So based on this, we know x equals to five over two, x equals to minus three, one minus x equals to zero means x equals to one. 2.5, which is 5 over 2, and minus 3. After this 3, we need to find where is the y intersection. So y intersection means x equals to 0, minus 15. We need to go down first. Then, hence, they ask you to solve the inequalities. As I say, for the cubic inequalities, we need to use the graph to solve. So this thing is my y. So y less than 0, y equals to 0 is this line. Below this line means that this region and this region. X is in between this minus 3 and 1. Have the including sign because the question have including sign. The next part is X more than 5 over 2, including. Last, they ask you on the axis below, sketch the graph of modulus of this. So if modulus means that everything we just flip up, everything below, we don't want we flip up. So initially it's like this. Everything bottom we remove, then reflect up. Initially, here is negative 15, become 15, and then here will be like this. And remember, after reflection, all this point will have the sharp point. Make sure you show a sharp point, not smooth point. Then you score six months. Next question is still the same, but they give you two brackets, but one of the bracket is square. This square is telling you this coordinate x equals to 1 is not only intersection point, also a turning point. So we can confirm x is 5 over 2 and x is 1. When x is 1 is a turning point, here is just an intersection. Then we also need to find y intersection minus 5. So it must go up and touch this point must be a turning point. Then it must turn back up. So this is how we draw it. Other than ask you to sketch the graph, they can give you the graph and ask you to find the expression for this fx. Then we have a number here, we're not very sure. We do it later. We use this three to form the three bracket first. x equals to minus one over three. So three x equals to minus one. Three x plus one equals zero. So like this, we can gain one mark. And then how to find the value of k? We need to use y intersection point to do this. So we know it is 0, minus 15. We subs into this equation. I just write this because this times 0 is nothing. This times this is 0 is nothing. This is 0 is also nothing. So like this, you can do it faster. So k is minus 3. Then we can confirm my fx is minus 3. Then part B, write down the value of x such that fx is less than 0. So it's again, we draw the horizontal line, y equals 0. So 
below it is this region and this region. So we can confirm x is in between minus 1 over 3 and 1. And do not have the equal symbol because my question don't have this equal symbol. And then next part is more than 5 over 2. Done. Next question. The diagram shows you hx which have these. The curve meet the points of these and these and the y-axis as these. So as you find the value of a, b, c. So we form our equation first. hx equals to k, a constant. And then x equals to minus 2 means that x plus 2 equals to 0. And since this is a turning point, so we put a square here. And then x equals to 1.5. 1.5 is 3 over 2. 2x two minus 3 equals 0. Then we use this coordinate. 0, trough to find the value of k. k is minus 1. Then we can confirm my equation is like this. But the question want us to write something square and bracket. They don't want any negative symbol in front. So this negative symbol, you need to go into the bracket that do not have square. Times negative means everything change sign. So minus 3 become 3. Positive 2x become negative 2x. So you must write your answer in this way. And then use your graph to solve the inequality of less than 9. So this question is a bit special. They do not ask for 0. They ask for 9. That's why they give you the very accurate line graph so you can get your answer accurately from the graph. Less than this is this region and this region. Okay, this is just nice minus 3. This is just nice 0 0.5. This is just nice one. Then I can confirm for part B, my first region, my x is in between minus 3, minus 0 0.5. And then the question have include sign, so answer also have include sign. And the next is x is more than or equals to 1. So these are the two answers. One more question, they also give us a cubic polynomial. They ask you to find the two possible expression for fx in terms of linear factor. Linear factor means your three bracket must be in x power 1, cannot have x power 2. We know x equals to minus 4, x plus 4 equals to 0, x equals to 1 over 2, so 2x minus 1 equals to 0, x equals to 2, so x minus 2 equals to 0. Then again, we find the value of k by using this coordinate, subset in. So we can confirm fx is this. But since it's a modulus graph, so initially it can be plus minus situation because no matter it's positive 3 or negative 3, after modulus, it will look exactly the same like this. Okay, so this is the end of this chapter, cubic equation. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment here and don't forget to subscribe, like and share my video to your friends. Thanks and see you in the next class. Bye-bye.